Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We've got another new adventure in fighting games today, at least new for me. So you guys know I have been watching and reacting to the trailers for the upcoming King of Fighters 15 and just starting to kind of work my way through learning a little bit, a little bit so far about the history of the series. Um, my cats are biting each other. Apologies. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I've just been working my way through this and um, I'm looking forward to playing the new game when it comes out early next year and I apparently will have uh, quite a few more trailers coming out if uh, everyone is correct in their estimation that there probably will be at least 50 some characters on the base roster which seems crazy to me but you guys are the experts. So. You guys also know that as part of this kind of process, I was informed about the existence of a fun little tag team game of SNK Heroines Tag Team Frenzy, which I've played out some and had a good time with. And it's very simple and different and it really isn't, you know, the same. So it gave me a little bit more of an introduction to some of the characters, especially a couple of the girls that I might want to play, but wasn't really as much of an introduction to King of Fighters itself. So, guys, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so anyway, um, it was recommended to me that I check out an older King of Fighters game, and so I have gone in and gotten myself King of Fighters 14. So I'm today going to be checking this out. You know, there's a tutorial, I'll probably go through it, look at some of the characters, see some of the basics, and just start to get a feel for this in anticipation of what's coming up. Excuse me. I'm gonna just go deal with some cat fighting and then we will get into the gameplay. So here we go. Okay, so I guess, uh... Tutorial probably should be first, right? Okay, basic moves and attack moves. So far, the way that it's set up is a lot like the SNK Heroines tutorial in terms of like you kind of go back to a menu screen in between each one, even like even if it's just crouching or forward back. Small jump? Okay, that's interesting. So it's like a short hop in Mortal Kombat 11. Small jump attacks are very- okay, so we got like a short hop thing going on here. Nice. Medium jump? Hold on! Alright, now things are getting complicated. So we've got a regular jump, we've got a short jump, and we've got a medium jump. Input, down briefly, and then- okay, this seems like it'll be interesting. Nope. Hmm. While dashing input that to do a medium jump. Alright. Okay, so we've got- and a large jump! Jesus. Alright. Okay. So there's quite a variety of, uh, jumps in this game. Standing guard, yes, alright, so the block. All makes sense! Guard crush. The blue gauge at the top is the guard gauge. Your guard gauge goes down from guarding against your opponent's attacks and you go into guard crush state when it reaches zero. Okay, so you can't block forever. That's also, that's also similar, right? So you can only guard for a certain amount of time. I find that interesting. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I'm more of a defensive player, so like like in Strive, for instance, some of the <laughs> mechanics, uh, um, like negative penalty, are not my favorite. And I wonder if this is going to be similar, but we'll see. Maybe I'll like it. Maybe I'll like it better. Image. So you've got to really be careful of watching your own guard crush gauge when you're blocking. Because if you just keep blocking and you don't do something like try to counter, push back, or 
backdash, get the hell out of there, I almost said something worse, um, you'll basically just be really screwed. Okay. Emergency evasion. Cool. And that's fairly simple. Rush is the most basic of basic moves. Use this move a lot until you're used to battling. I like that, that they provide you with a convenient, like, one button repeatedly pressing move to kind of get you started when you're learning and you aren't sure of your inputs and you're just like, what do I do? And flailing around panicking. <laughs> that's nice of them. That's convenient. Rush 2. When you have one or more power gauges and activate Rush, your last attack will change from a special move to a super special move. Mmm. Alright. Oh! Nice! It doesn't seem like anything takes away that much life, like, though. That's... I just noticed that. Rushing during max mode, when you have- oh, okay. We'll change your last attack to a max super special move. Alright, so we have special moves, super special moves, and max super special moves. <laughs> okay. Stay aware of your power gauge while you fight. Yes, it seems like gauges are very important in this game. Which, that's cool. Oh. This sounds like it's gonna be rough. Oh my god. What? Why? Alright, 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 we'll try it, we'll try it, bro. So I need to... Yes! Oh my god, I'm like... Oh, oh, I'm so relieved. I didn't think it was gonna work <laughs> ever. All right, all righty. Here comes the fun stuff, right? All right, no, you're a dude, so I don't care. Here's Sylvie. <laughs> oh shit! Look at that mask. I don't know, man. I feel like she looks a lot cooler here than she did in uh, SMK Heroines. Because she had the whole outfit, but she didn't have this mask on. I don't know. I'm going to have to check her out. Alright, Zarina. She's in that too. Oh, she's got a... Does she have the toucan, toucan mother when she fights? Alright, I'm going to have to check that out. Uh, mature. This is a character I don't know yet. Vice? Another character I don't know yet, but, I mean, I'm guessing these two maybe kind of go together. Oh, are they divided up by their teams? Is that- oh, they seem to be in three, so are these their teams? Huh. Okay. What the fuck is this guy? I don't know how- ah. Chang Cohen. All right, this guy seems interesting. Is that, what? Is that like a giant ball and chain? Tricked me. I thought he was an actual dinosaur in the angel. All right, this is the one that that a lot of you guys want, right? This is who I hear a lot of people asking for, and we're a little concerned that maybe she's not in the game. <laughs> but we'll see. Ramon. Yeah. So this was the and this was their team. But now, Edgenoff is here instead of her, so... Ooh, there's my pretty girl! There's Long, there she is, my beauty! My beautiful! I love her! There's Kula! You guys think she's gonna make it into King of Fighters 15? I've been told she's pretty popular. I have some friends who really want her. Maxima, I don't know you, but you got a whole robot thing going on. Cyborgy style. <laughs> Alright, so someone's gonna have to explain this to me. Is this a Tekken character guest starring in King of Fighters, or does he come from King of Fighters and is a guest character in Tekken? 
Athena! She's so cute. She's so cute. I feel like I'm gonna end up playing her in everything. I don't know. Like, Luong is the one that, like, really I'm drawn to, but she seems like the character playstyle-wise, and she's also cute, so it seems like, yeah. Alice, I don't know this girl. Interesting shirt. I don't know her. There's my, of course, of course, of course. Here's King! Alright, so lots of my friends, if you guys watched my SNK Heroines video, you know that I was streaming when I was going through that for the first time, and uh, lots of my friends were like, what the hell, where's King? Where's King? King best girl! And she is one of the ones I was interested in from the trailer, so we'll have to check her out. Alright, here's these. Is this guy a demon? Is this like a fucking demon? I thought, what? I'm a little confused. Is this a demon? Someone explain this to me. <laughs> Alright, there's Vanessa. Ooh, I like, you can see the little lace patterns on her outfit? That's a nice touch. You guys know I like, I said this before too in the trailer video. She's got the red hair and the red eyes and I like that, I like that a lot. Rock Howard. Alright, are they related in some way? I know they're on the same team. Wait, so there's these two and a fucking demon? What is their team about? It's Vanessa and Rock Howard and they both have red eyes and a demon. Do they like summon this demon or something? I need to learn the lore, clearly. <laughs> Uh, anyway. Masquerade. Oh, I like this one. I like this one. It's pretty. <laughs> the things that matter to me. Practicing my hops. I don't like this stage. Alright, so let's see the special moves. Athena. Um. Oh. Oh, oh my. I'm gonna have a lot of stuff to write down. So, what? alright. This is how it kind of work. I'm gonna go through and just check out some of these and play around a little um, with the different characters to get a feel. And then I'll probably do some AI stuff without, like, really knowing what I'm doing that well. But then I'll have to come back and I'll write everything down because I keep little, little notebooks. Full of all my shit, like, this is my, one of my Guilty Gear Girls pages. Um, so I'll have to come back, especially because looking at this, there's a lot of interesting notations, like, so, okay, so some things only work in the air, that makes sense, but then there's some things that only work in the air near the edge of the screen, and some things that only work close in the air, and then there's a thing for, uh, repeatedly, you do something repeatedly, and there's something else for like hold or release and then maximum yeah so basically there's a lot of notations that you have to learn um yeah so i'll have to come back and do my writing stuff but for now let's just play around some all right um so command moves are mostly with l kick we've got throw like the ball all right and then there's so let's see what her this is. Alright, and that's the one when you don't have power. Okay? So then there was also... Ooh, yes. Alright, so a lot of these are, are the same, like, moves that they even had in SNK Heroines, but some of the inputs are a bit more complicated. Which makes sense. But besides the fact that she is adorable, um, she has zoning options. Good options for getting in. She's got a teleport. She's got a DP. This all seems like lovely to me. So I really feel like one of my first teams is gonna definitely include her. Oh, I do- I actually like the blackish one. Alright, so... 
She seems to have cool movement, which is nice. Oh, okay, so yeah, if you're close, so if you're close, it, there's some differences, so that's like, uh, Guilty Gear. Cool. I like the range. Alright, so the other cool thing about this is if you accidentally fuck up, like if I'm trying to go for this, right? But I got too close because I wasn't paying attention. That's just throw. So that's cool for me anyway. <laughs> Alright, so. Alright, so I like, other than the way she looks, I like that she's got some good movement. She's got some good range. The kicks are cool and everything. She's got like some jury vibes in terms of the play style itself. I'm a projectile girl and she doesn't have any projectiles, so that kind of hurts. But, I really want to play her because look at her, so... Sometimes you make aesthetic decisions. Yeah, heavy kick. Alright, a slide. So that's cool. What did I just do here? Is that the DP? Yeah. Ooh, that DP is sick looking! What? Alright, let's put it in max and see. Bro, that is so cool looking! Alright, alright, alright. Let me do my... Now this was the... Alright, so that's projectile. She got a projectile, nice. Alright, so she's got some cool looking shit and a projectile. Nice. Alright, now let's look at this, uh... Let's look at this half circle motion. Whoa. That's got some range on it. That's cool. That's a good... Oh, I like that. I like that! Alright, I like her. I like her, guys. I like her a lot. You got... Let's see what you got. Oh, but the butt move, that's right. I got a butt. Alright, and then the DP. Alright, so then she also has... From the air. Oh my god. She's got an air fireball! Okay, so this is that, and it has a bunch of lead-ins. Or, uh, follow-ups. What is this? Is this a command grab? Like, there's gotta be something that you can... I need my command grab expert Emmy to teach me what I can lose to lead into this shit. Alright. Alright, she's cool. Oh, I wonder what happens if you do... And then... Thing stage. Bitch slap him. Hi, Nala. Oh, boy. Alright. Just checking out the movement here. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so... So, 
that's a dive. She got a little divey. Okay. So there's that. Now what's this? Okay, that's a different projectile. Alright, so she's got a bunch of projectiles. I like projectiles, so that's cool. Maybe it's a half circle forward motion. It is! Okay. That's pretty intense. That goes far! Alright, what if we did... Nice. And if you were up close, that a lot if you were up close. Oh, I mean, that's kind of cute, but it's, I think I like a regular one better. It's kind of funky. I don't know. Anyway. Alright, so her close one is cool. What the fuck is, what the fuck is that? Is that like a parry? Alright, now, there's that, and in the air, ooh, okay, her in the air one is super useful, some of them are not, it seems, but hers is like a full-on overhead like that, very nice, okay. That's very cool looking. First... Ooh, she's so twirly. She's a little figure skater. <laughs> I wonder if you can do that from the air. No, it'd be cool if you could though. Cool. I wonder if she's a figure of skater. Alright, I like this. This isn't like a standard sort of projectile. It seems like it's very slow on startup. And that also didn't like, like, follow through, you know what I'm- Whoa! Her hair is a different color with the different outfits? Hmm, interesting. Hmm. So that's a command thing. That's also a two. Okay, she's badass. Wait, even her kicks are punches? Even her kicks are punches, bro! Alright, so she is the punchy queen. Even her kicks are punches! She's got a lot! That's with one. And that just makes it go longer, right? Gotcha. Alright. Got that. That's a lot. That's a lot. Oh, I see. So it's like a zoom in and then you got like a bunch of different follow-ups. Okay. 
Whoa. So... So this is like Colleen in Street Fighter almost. Her movement is nuts! Oh, I like her. I like her. Again, not really projectiles, which is usually my thing, but I like it. I like her cool movement. We're magical. Ooh. Is it bad that I really like that because of the pretty sparkle magic stuff? Because I do. You gotta be close for that one, though. It seems like. I am way too into that. Alright, what's our DP? Wait, let me get out of max mode. Ooh! I like that. And then this is like the same thing, but it goes forward. Interesting. So she's got a lot of like motion options. Alright, so who do I want to see next? There's so many girls. I'm like, I'm spoiled here because it's not usually. Oh, whoa, wait a second. I don't know if her alternative costume is crazier than her basic one. I mean, I guess it doesn't have the weird eyeballs. So there's that. But then, um, she's got, like, the dog stuff. Or she's supposed to be, like, a little red riding hood. Oh, and that's why the base color was red. She's, like, a little red riding hood. She's like flying with electricity when she's dashing. Oh, oh, she's got like a hawk? She has a hawk companion? <gasps> she's just, okay, so the fact that this girl has a hawk, why didn't she have this in SNK Heroines, first of all? This makes her shoot up like so much higher in my rankings of would I want to play her? Oh my god, okay. I'm doing a DP just from... Alright, I'm macroing that somehow. That's cool. <gasps> Hawked! What? Get me out of here, my hockey friend! between the two clings. The length of time she stays up. I like her. Is she actually a vampire? They said she was a vampire, but she's just like, like magical and has a 
a little hawk friend. I don't know. I like her. I like her. <laughs> Ooh! What? Wait a minute! She looks like a wicked ass sorceress. <gasps> That's badass looking! Whoa, whoa, whoa! I love her! Wait a minute! I love her! Mm -mm. Command grab, right? Oh. She's cool. Whoa! Alright, so one, two, three, four, five. How about four? One, two, three, four. Nope! It's like five seconds. That's cool. Oh, I really like her. She's fucking weird! looking at. I don't know which one is more ridiculous. The regular one? Or that one? But this also, okay, so in SNK Heroines, Kulo was wearing something that looked a lot like what Angel is wearing, so I guess maybe that was like a touch to her. Okay, and then there was... Oh. She's got speed, that's nice. I guess Unchained... A lot of it is like... Following up on that, I guess. She seems like she'd be an interesting character, for sure. Like, she's all about chaining everything into each other. Alright guys, I think that's gonna do it with me, and I'm gonna be wrapping it up for the first time, uh, looking at King of Fighters 14. I was planning on going and doing some, uh, versus the CPU stuff, arcade stuff, to start us off, but... I have already been at this for a couple of hours, honestly, just looking, just doing the tutorial and looking at the characters, and I haven't even gotten through, like, even close to all the characters. There's just so many, and I think there's even still, like, seven more girl characters I haven't even looked at, and that's not even including the guys. It's, like, so crazy. But one thing that I'm really impressed about is, despite the fact that there's so many characters, so far, all the ones that I've looked at have seemed quite unique, have their own style and everything, and not just appearance-wise, but in terms of gameplay, which is really cool. Um, from what I've seen with the tutorial so far, I like a lot of the basic components of the game. Uh, some of it definitely seems like it's going to be execution-heavy. I, 
I think, though, that depending on the character that you pick, you can get away with not doing too many ridiculous motions and also just more relying on an understanding of the gauge system. Um, so I like that as well, that there's different options, you know, for people like, like myself who have different capabilities physically, mechanically, um, but you still would need to learn, like, there's still a lot of depth to it, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to continue though because I want to check out the whole team system and how that works. I do wish the tutorial had covered that more, discussed it more, um, but that's okay, that's okay. And uh, yeah, I don't know, there's a lot of girls that I liked and ones that I wasn't expecting. You know, I came in here and I was like definitely thinking Luong and Athena were like the top of my list. And they still kind of are. But I feel like Luang's playstyle is not as much mine, but I still just love her, so I, I would end up using her. Athena seems very good for me. I liked King a lot, again, even though she's not my typical playstyle, and the same thing with Vanessa. I was surprised about how much I liked Vanessa. Um, but then there were major surprises for me, like Mion, I did not see that coming and I was super into her. Like she seems very cool to me. I I kind of want to try her out and then uh, Nakaruru, again, I didn't know she had the hawk, the hawk thing seems cool, I was enjoying that. And then that uh, one character that I looked at, Naj, I still want to find out more about her, if those are parry, because, I mean, you guys can tell me too, but uh, more details about how that works. But just the her aesthetically and, like, how she comes across play-wise seems so cool. I really just liked her a lot. So, yeah, I got a lot to think about. I feel like maybe I'll have to try to experiment with different team configurations. Because there is way more than three girls that I want to use. And I haven't even looked at them all. So, But so far, I really like what I see. I like the feel of the game. Um, I like that they give you options for beginners. Like that you can just basically press light punch over and over and over again to get yourself started. And it can lead into something depending on your gauge. So yeah, I'm really impressed. And I also still want to know what that fucking demon thing was. Somebody tell me. <laughs> All right, but I'm going to wrap this up here, guys. Really enjoying it so far. Really excited to keep looking into it more and keep practicing. So thank you so much for joining me. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.